exit polls can be considered as an indicator of the public opinion or uh, whatever uh, things are but that is not necessarily uh, that is the reality so the reality might differ from the exit poll as polling for the karnataka assembly elections concluded on may 10 most of the exit polls gave the congress a clear lead over the ruling bjp At least two pollsters predicted that Congress would win a majority. Kiran Parashar, principal correspondent at Indian Express, tells us more about how accurate the exit polls are and if Congress really has a chance at forming the government in Karnataka. In Karnataka there are 224 assembly segments uh, which went for a Karnataka General Assembly elections on May 10th. so uh, after the conclusion of uh, uh, elections uh, the exit polls were out uh, according to the exit polls majorly uh, all the exit polls suggested either hung assembly or uh, congress forming uh, the government with absolute majority uh, uh, just uh, just to mention few of the uh, organizations which have conducted the surveys abp news and sea water uh, says that bjp might get 83 to 95 and congress may get 100 to 112 as jds may get over 21 to 29 india today and access my india uh, says that uh, bjp may get 62 to 8 uh, whereas congress may get 122 to 140 jds might uh, end up with uh, 2025 seats uh, news 24 and today's chanakya says that uh, bjp might get uh, somewhere around 92 congress 120 and uh, jds 12 uh so of all the surveys uh, only two exit polls have uh, suggested that uh, bjp might reach uh, triple digit figures uh, for example republic tv and p mark suggest that 85 to 100 bjp might get 85 to 100 whereas congress might get uh, 94 to 108 whereas uh, suvarna news and uh, janki baat suggests that uh, bjp might get 94 to 117 and congress might get uh, 91 to 106 so uh, uh, to tell you uh, any political party will require 112 plus seats uh, in karnataka to get an absolute majority so that they can form government in karnataka in case if nobody uh, gets 112 then uh, it will be a hung assembly and jds will come into the picture these exit polls are very uh, tricky because they uh, always uh, uh, these organizations uh, uh, meet and collect information from uh, a very small amount of people they have their own methodology of doing things where these uh, uh, information which they gather from the ground will not have more than 50000 or 1 lakh samples so based on that these exit polls results are out for example if you take in 2018 uh the exit polls uh, suggested that uh, bjp would get 103 seats and congress would get uh, somewhere around 86 seats and jds would get uh, somewhere around 31 seats but if you see the exit poll i mean uh, the results after that uh, B- bjp managed to get 104 seats and uh, congress managed to get 80 seats whereas jds managed to get 37 seats so uh, 5 to 15% there will be plus or minus uh, for all the parties from these exit poll numbers so though we cannot call it as uh, totally accurate there will be a, uh, a a small amount of inaccuracy but that small amount can make a huge difference because uh, all the party uh, any party would require is 112 seats so uh, if any if somebody Uh, says that uh, congress is going to form the government with 120 seats and if that uh, inaccuracy level is uh, more than or 10% minus then they will not be able to form the government so it becomes very crucial all these numbers the exit polls uh, did surprise bengaluru if not karnataka uh, because uh, prime minister was here campaigning for uh, uh, for bjp and he held more than 40 kilometers road show 
and Bangalore has 28 assembly segments, uh, just for the information. So uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, noise and there was a lot of uh, uh, that I mean, everybody were thinking that this prime minister's road shows and uh, rallies will uh, uh, make a difference in vote share as well as in seats. Uh, However, after exit polls came out, uh, Karnataka Chief Minister Basuraj Bumai yesterday said that uh, that every exit poll is showing a different figure, but the complete ground report, uh, what the BJP has, shows that they will win the absolute majority. And uh, these exit polls, he said that it would be 5 to 10% uh, swing either way. And also he said that uh, <clears throat> they will not require uh, JDS. Uh, to form the government because he expressed his uh, confidence in getting absolute majority. Uh, whereas B.S. Yadurappa, uh, former chief minister and BJP uh, parliamentary board committee member, uh, he also expressed confidence saying that uh, there will be no uh, uh, discussions or no uh, question of uh, uh, joining hands with JDS to form the government as he predicts that uh, BJP will get more than 115 seats. Congress was elated with the exit poll uh, results uh, because many of them suggested uh, that they would get the absolute majority. So Sidramaya yesterday, uh, while speaking to the media after exit polls uh, came out, he said that uh, he predicted that Congress would win 130 to 150 seats uh, in this election, and he's hoping to win the same amount of seats. And he also says that in coastal districts, uh, out of 13 seats, uh, they had only one, one seat last time in 2018 assembly elections. But uh, he is hoping that they will win more than three, four seats this time. And also, he expresses confidence of winning or retaining uh, some of the old Mysore region seats. Uh, which is a stronghold of Congress and JDS as well. So when asked whether Bajrang Dal uh, issue uh, was an influence, to, uh, did not make any influence to the voters, uh, uh, he said that uh, in our manifesto, we said that whoever promotes communal violence uh, will be dealt with strict action. We did not single out anyone. It might be any pro-Hindu or Muslim organization. Uh, Karnataka Congress uh, State Chief D.K. Shivkumar uh, he said that uh, he doesn't believe in this exit polls. And he said that from whatever the report that he has got from the ground, Congress is going to win 141 seats and there will be no question of hung assembly or uh, coalition government this time. JDS is a little bit worried about uh, the exit polls uh, numbers because JDS was anticipating somewhere around 40 uh, seats in Karnataka. Uh, though H.D. Kumar Swami claimed that uh, uh, he was anticipating to form the government with the majority, that was uh, uh, very much unrealistic. But still, they had a, they were hoping to get some 40, 45 seats. But uh, uh, yesterday, Kumar Swami, right after his exercising his vote, spoke to the media. This was even before the exit polls came. So then he said that they might not be doing well in at least some 25 assembly segments. Uh, and he attributed it to a financial crunch that uh, the party was being facing. So he said that uh, though the party provided a good number of funds uh, to many of the seats, uh, it reduced or did not give or uh, provide such funds to the places where uh, their they, they, it, it is considered to be the winnable seats because anyhow you are going to win. So uh, he says he claimed that so this fund uh, financial crunch and uh, or, and the other factors might affect some of the prospects in JDS. So according to him, at least in 2025, 25 assembly segments, uh, the JDS prospects of winning was affected is what H.D. Kumar Sonic did.